Hello, and welcome to a very quiet edition of DCP <laughs> Side Quest, where we're just going to relax and talk about we're our days. We're relaxing today. Yeah, we're and relaxing. hide. <laughs> should I turn on my camera? I feel weird just being the only person. I'm just going <laughs> to... I should turn on that NVIDIA eye contact thing again. Oh, you should. <laughs> yeah, that's what you should the, do. <laughs> staring at the camera the entire podcast. <laughs> this is an AM show now, okay? That's right. I'm going to scratch the microphone a little bit. I might eat something. <laughs> or just, just, you, just like, okay, everyone, thank you for showing up. I'm gonna. I'm yeah. just gonna smoke a big old bong for the rest of the episode. You're just gonna hear it gurgling in the background. Good idea. Good idea. And I am. And uh, well, I don't have a camera because my wisdom tooth is coming through. And oh. if it was just coming through into, you know, you you know how it pokes through the gums and it's like trying to get through the gums and you have pain because of that. If it was just that, that would be fine. Mm -hmm. But this is actually really trying to go into my jaw bone. Oh. So Ooh. my jaw really hurts. Really hurts. It's giving me constant migraines because of the, the pain. Ugh. And um, yeah, there's not much I can do about it until... I can see someone, which I have an appointment tomorrow, oh. but we'll probably, it's just, it's a consultation because they right, can't just be like, like, all right, come on in and let's rip it out. Yeah, we'll make an appointment for you next month. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we'll see you in uh, quarter two. Hopefully. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> God, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hate dental <laughs> stuff, man. It's the worst. It is the worst. It is. And there's, there's no escaping it. I, uh, too, am dealing with the wisdom tooth, but it's different because... I have braces on half my face because of a wisdom tooth. Mm, so my I understand. The wisdom teeth, man. Oh, yeah, man. it actually wise. broke. No, not wise. I have only one wise. <laughs> 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 I only have one wisdom tooth because it broke a molar. So now it's oh, now it's took its place and it's a little Whoa. short. So it's got braces. God, that's hey, gonna my... send cringe right up my back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, my other crazy when you are chilling. They're just they're big chilling. <laughs> this one is like, I want to be in your jaw. Yeah, yeah. that sounds fun. In the that's jaw like, sounds like a good place. Have you ever seen a picture of like a uh, animal that has horns and the horn like wraps around and like ends up killing the animal because it like grows yes. into the face <laughs> and into the brain? Yes. Bodies that's are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying Watts is like a Wild Hearts character? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty similar. <laughs> oh, gosh. I did something oh, really cool this weekend. Oh, did you? Have you guys ever played virtual golf where you go and you, like, they set up, like, yeah. a screen and yeah. they, like, have a it's projector. Like a yeah, yeah. And they, they have a projector that's, like, showing you the course and then you you swing with a real golf ball and real golf clubs and you hit the ball into the screen. And then there's this like radar thing behind you that tracks your golf ball and then interprets that data and puts it inside the game and then puts your, you know, it's almost like Mario golf or like a golf video game at that point where it, it shows the ball in flight, it lands it on the course. And then, you know, you move to your next shot and you hit from there and so on. And you move across a course. You can play like any course in the world it's really fun. Uh, it's the first time I've done it that way. Like I've played like indoor golf before, but I've never on that level. It's amazing. Yeah, it's supposed that to be fun. as comparable to like Top Golf. Like they wanted something like that to be like that. What's Top? We have golf? some of those out here. Top Golf is like a facility where you're actually outside, and it's like a huge range. But there's like a light show, and there's like challenges you can do, and like it's kind of like a glorified like driving range. for golfing kind of <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's super fun if you can ever top golf but That's they also cool do time. like like vr ar golf too which is really cool yeah that's amazing it's, wild. It's, it's super weird to like hit a ball and then like because there's a delay obviously because it's got to like process <laughs> what you just did and then to see it like so you see your ball hit the screen and then like a split second later you see your ball move forward like in the virtual world like up and down it's so bizarre it was it was really fun though and they serve beer and wings there which is you know oh. the beer is a great <laughs> idea save the wings till after you're done golfing though i learned Doesn't, oh yeah not great for the grip right it's like you're just yeah, sliding around you got buffalo sauce maybe that's why my eyes hurt today <laughs> you've just 
<laughs> like, yeah. You were just <laughs> rubbing <laughs> buffalo sauce in your eyes. Buffalo sauce all up in my grips and all my. And I was, oh, this is a bad situation here. I learned a, a valuable lesson yesterday. <laughs> That was wait to eat the buffalo wings until after I play golf. <laughs> <laughs> now we know. Yeah, I just see. I didn't. I didn't know that. Yeah, see, this is an informative <laughs> podcast, a quiet and informative <laughs> podcast. It's like the NPR of DCP. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> quiet. Watts and I got wrecked this weekend. At least Briar, at least you had a good time. <laughs> I did. I had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, was... I played a lot of Wild Hearts, though. Oh, how was oh, it? Oh, yeah? It's incredible. Like, the art, everything. It's so good. It's a it's a lot of fun. Yeah, was, they uh... did an incredible job. And they have an update coming this month with um, more monsters. Oh. Really? Wow. An update already? Yeah. When did the game come out? Last month, right? Yeah. February, wow. Not even. Two... February 17th. They're setting high expectations. <laughs> <laughs> right? It actually plays really well, too. And, um, yeah, you can tell that they spent a lot of time just making it what it is. Like, it's a great Monster Hunter-style game. The hunter, Monster Hunter-like. Uh, and everything yeah, and just looks awesome. They did a really good job of having it be, obviously, a Monster Hunter genre is Monster Hunter. Every. There hasn't really been yeah. many other successful <laughs> ones, but it really has its own identity, which is hard to hard to achieve because it's a very specific formula, right? You go hunt the monsters, you get the weapon, you forge armor and weapons. I, I was just watching the Digital Foundry. Well, I was listening to the Digital Foundry podcast because my eyes hurt and I was trying to fall asleep. I was taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they, were, they were saying that the PC version not running super good, but the playstation version pretty good is that true <clears throat> my yeah. pc version has been completely fine it's yeah. really just hit or miss it's a complete it's a it's a you who knows who knows which side of the coin you're gonna get okay. <laughs> honestly it seems like all pc games or games that come out on pc are having that experience recently yeah it is weird right it's how it felt i don't like know what's going like on golden era of amazing pc ports where like it was yep. clearly the way to go. Like if you had a good PC, it was yeah. It was clearly the way to go. Now it feels like now that we've got more power out of the out of the consoles, especially like so you're getting 60 FPS games a lot of the time. It's it's a harder decision. It is, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like because of all the new hardware that's come out, like it's just harder to optimize for everything that's out right now. I don't I don't know what it is. Yeah, but it seems pretty consistent. I mean, even Destiny with the most recent update, people are having crashes, FPS drops, like yeah, totally a thing. Uh, the Wo Long PC version is also struggling. Yeah, uh, I don't know what I don't know what's going on. Returnal did great though. Returnal is amazing. They spent a long time on that port. It didn't come out day and date they with did, the PS5 yeah. version, and I suspect yeah. spending a little more time on it might have been why it turned out so good. Would make sense. Yeah. Yeah. But, but um, it, yeah, my PC version's been fine. Yeah, when it was a choice between like, you know, like uh, Destiny was, you know, came out on PC with Destiny 2 and it was like, okay, I can run this at, if I have the hardware, 120 FPS, 240 FPS or 30 FPS on my PlayStation 4. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's right, an easy yeah. decision, <laughs> right? But now, like I can run at 60 <clears throat> FPS on my PS5 or my Xbox 4. But... Or even 120 if you're in the yeah, crucible. That's right. Yeah. But you just it, broke my brain. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait. Mav knows the proper names. We don't understand them. They're too hard, Mav. They're too difficult. <laughs> I think my eyebrows perked up. <laughs> I was like, wait, the Xbox Four? <laughs> yeah, that's what this one yeah. is. It's the Where Xbox have I Four. Been? <laughs> Agreed, though. Agreed. <laughs> they have Jesus. decided to go into insanity with their naming, and I refuse to follow. <laughs> oh, I am the Donatello God. of Ninja Turtles, as we have decided. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, no, that's that's accurate, accurate. <laughs> but you, you guys, are you playing it on um, PC as well? I'm playing yeah. Wild Hearts on PS5. PS5. I just okay. If I'm gonna play. 
I really want to play it on my PC, but I don't have a two PC setup and I'm mm. wrestling with my new graphics card. Mm. Yeah. And so I would rather it look awesome for me, <laughs> you know, yeah. and it plays really well anyways. And I don't mind that controller. What kind um, of graphics but, card did you get? What, what's the problem? With it? I got the I got the thirty eighty. Okay. I think the thirty eighty or thirty sixty, and every I I installed it and all my video and my camera and everything doesn't work and so I'm like oh god oh no that's I have not no great idea. I know so maybe I have to take it to the doctor uh oh <laughs> everyone's going to the doctor the but geek squad. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have a local place actually where they just build for people, which is amazing. Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah, they're great. That's, awesome. um, that's a dream I'm business playing... for a lot of people, right? It's like a local place that builds p computers. Oh my God. Yeah. They're great. They're so like, I always bring food in if I bring stuff because I'm like, here, <laughs> fix my shit. <laughs> yeah, I bet they put you right to the front of the line for that. <laughs> they're like, oh, this one's fancy. <laughs> That's a skill that I've only begun learning like recently is to bring food no matter where I'm going. Just bring something nice. People just literally really like it. I have, even if you, okay, here's a hack. If you are like going to a party or if you want to be the cool guy, go to your local bakery, pick some cool stuff out, take it home, put it in a Tupperware and just be like, <laughs> and just be like, uh, my partner made these or like, <laughs> You know, my friend made these, like, I thought you might like them. Uh, I've done that with cake, where I've re-iced re cake, where you just like, you listen, re -iced I don't cake? have time. Wow. <laughs> Do you think time. It's, so it's intrinsically more valuable that you baked, they think that you not baked this treat. But you think <laughs> yeah. they see more value in it. Like, it's it's not oh, as yeah. valuable than if you, you ran out and, like, you were thinking of them uh, enough that you ran to the store, special for this trip. You're like, I'm going to get these people a nice cake. I'm even going to have something nice written on it by the person behind the counter. <laughs> there's just something about a, a like a personal baked treat that you're yeah. like, that's awesome. You like, yeah. it takes time to do that stuff. <laughs> yeah. So I will re-ice a cake so you think I did it. <laughs> Yeah. And it usually tastes better than when you bake a cake, right? So it's True. like, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll sometimes we'll do that. I mean, even if it is like obviously purchased, like even rehoming it and taking it out of like the plastic yeah. is like way nicer, especially Are if you, you're like. Do you abandon where? your Tupperware or do you expect it to be washed <laughs> and returned to you? Oh, sheesh. Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's spicy. I had like a visceral reaction, but then I was like, no, no, they can have my Tupperware. No, yeah. I want my Tupperware. <laughs> I mean, Only because my Tupperware is so cute. <laughs> Tupperware, it's not like, it's not like the, in when I was growing up in the ancient mm. times, they used to have Tupperware parties because Tupperware was expensive, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They just what? came out with those. They came out with the Heritage only because I bought one this weekend. Really? <laughs> they came out with like a classic old school Tupperware where you push it in the middle, right? And it has like the lines on the top and then it's like scoops. Is you it like the cover, color of like a sunflower <laughs> covered with dust? No, but we were <laughs> laughing about that because it's that style, but it's like powder blue. Powder blue? <laughs> Okay, that works. No, it's not the pea green or like the burnt orange umbra or like <laughs> mustard salmonella. No, it's not even those colors. Nowadays, they have like cheap Tupperware, though. It's like made by like other companies like Glad or whoever. So I, I just abandon that, right? I just buy a bunch of that shit and there, there's like a whole drawer of it. And then I just, if I bring something to somebody, I just leave it. Like, I don't want that back. Yeah. You keep it. I'll usually bring a Tupperware that I'm like, I could part with this. Like, um, yeah. it's not too serious. Or I'll just bring it back home and just be like, okay. My yeah. thing is if there's something that's maybe I forgot I kept in there that's been in the fridge for a bit longer than <laughs> oh, it should. That's giveaway Tupperware? <laughs> that's I'm probably going to throw it away Tupperware. Oh, you know, okay. that's what I'm like, you know, I could probably, it's just, just it's just, you open it but up and there's stained. mold. It's and like, forever unclean stained. Tupperware. It's unclean forever. I can't can't it's it's bad it's there's really no bad. redemption for this tupperware watts goes and buys new tupperware for parties 
Yeah, I mean, oh, I would definitely never give like the Tupperware, <laughs> the Tupperware like I made uh, heated up pasta sauce in that's like stained forever. That's <laughs> yeah, not yeah. the give it away Tupperware. That's not like uh, bringing cookies somewhere Tupperware. No, <laughs> that's embarrassing. But that is a life hack. It's like when you bring cookies or. So the, the reason I started doing this is I started leaving candy bars on the car seat when I bring my car to the mechanic. And I have a little oh. note that oh. says, for the mechanic. So there's no question. It's not like I just forgot a candy bar there. And it's like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know it's, it's like. like it just disappears. <laughs> and I don't know. I mean, it's clearly like, a, like any idiot could see straight through this. It's a bribe, right? Like I am trying to bribe you with a candy bar or some cookies or something. Don't overcharge me. I don't even care if you overcharge me. Don't fuck anything up. <laughs> like, just take right. an extra little bit of time. Because I've had awful experiences. Like, I just had my tires rotated, and they forgot to put the, you know, the little security lock that goes, you have, like, a uh, key lug nut. They yeah. forgot to give that back to me. And I had to go back, and, like, oh, they had to, like, Jesus. look for it for, like, 45 minutes. So oh, That's geez. not how I wanted to be spending my day, right? So I figured, no. like, some cookies. Like, if I stop by Price Chopper. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, treats. Treats. It's the way. Yeah. And when you, Everyone when you loves show a little up, snack. When you show up at a party or you show up even at like a get together. What's like what's like when two friends get together or three friends get together? That's not a party. That's like let's just drink some beer and like talk shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you yeah, bring a little treat thing. to that. People love it. Even if it's like fucking <laughs> Cheetos or Doritos or something. People love it. Yeah. That reminds you of Brain snacks. Snacks. There you go. That's her. Brain that's snacks. her. That's her business card is actual little candy bars from Canada. That's amazing. <laughs> she puts stickers on them and then she's like, here, here's my information. Enjoy your snack. That is awesome. Wow. It's brilliant. Yeah. I'm like, what the? Why didn't I think of this? Damn it. Because your name's not snackless, Mab. I you know. need like a unicorn. You can't hand out <laughs> unicorns to everybody. <laughs> here's my horn. Would you like my information? <laughs> oh, this got weird fast. <laughs> Just leave it to us to go the yes ands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but always bring a snack. I'm telling you, you will be the favorite friend. Someone will remember whatever treat you brought. Yeah. Like you, you go to a car <laughs> rental place. Bring a snack. Bring some cookies for the counter. They're going to love it. <laughs> yeah, they're going to love it. And maybe they'll give you a free upgrade. Maybe instead of that like uh, mm. Nissan Altima that smells like poop, maybe you get that Cadillac Escalade. They're like, hey, this guy's awesome. He brings cookies. Give him the Escalade. I'm going to give him <laughs> cookies just to not email me every day. How about that? Like, hey, guys. Dude. I remember those chocolate awesome chips. Okay. <laughs> We're out here. I swear, but, one of my emails are just like completely useless because. Oh yeah, like, all my emails so completely much useless. Spam, so uh, much spam. Yeah, and like you try so and unsubscribe, much. it takes forever because like you, there's like a little unsubscribe link at the bottom of the email, so you click that and it brings you to a website, and then you gotta like, like log why? in to the website, <laughs> and then it's like, are you sure you want to unsubscribe? You're gonna be missing on all these amazing subscriber benefits. I'm like. Like what exactly that I have never used in the last five years? Are you constantly spamming my inbox? Uh, I, I get geez. ones. I I get ones that are like, you could be saving money on your energy or something. I'm like, please stop it. I'm never going to leave me alone. And the worst thing is when you unsubscribe. They will yeah. then email you from a slightly different yes. email. Yes. So it, you're not actually, uh, you're unsubscribed from a certain <laughs> email, one. but not yeah. all the emails. But now they're doing text messaging too. So now text messaging has become like, I don't pay attention <laughs> when I get a text message anymore because it's probably spam. Or even worse, it says, hey, your Amazon is, account has been hacked. Click this <laughs> link in this, in this obviously fake message. And so we can steal all your information. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so or they're sending video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they don't try and hack you and scam you. <laughs> bring cookies to avoid being scammed. That's right. uh, That's how you know, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> the rainbow shines. Oh, my gosh. I have been playing a game called Crimson Clover World Explosion. It is so what fucking is good. Dude, yeah, first of all, great name, right? Herbs? Am I the best name of a Clover? video game? Wait. 
Crimson <laughs> Clover, spelled with a Z. Crimson, spelled with a Z. Crimson. Crimson, oh, crimson Clover. Clo Clover. C with a K? <laughs> no, no, with a C. World <laughs> Explosion. And the explosion spelled E-X in capital letters because it's like, it's like oh. the, the extra version of Crimson mm. Clo Clover World Ignition, which is the special edition of just regular ass Crimson Clover. The game's on Steam. I bought it, I think it was $13 when I bought it. It's back up to $20 now. And it just got verified for the Steam Deck. Uh, they, they've been updating it to make it you know, Steam Deck verified, which is kind of awesome because I can play it. Obviously, everybody knows how the Steam Deck works. You can play it on your PC or your <laughs> Steam Deck. But this is, anyway. a, this is a vertically scrolling shooter. And I know that turns people off right away. They hear, like, shoot them up. I am telling you, Give this game a shot. It is so fucking good. It is. Have you ever like been so into something? This might be why my eyes actually hurt is because <laughs> I play this game. Oh my God. It takes like, depending on how far you get in a run, it, it takes between like 10 or 20 minutes per play session, right? Per like you, you, you going through the game. But you can't blink you because you, you don't have time. That that would be an order of magnitude more time than you could possibly devote to not paying attention to what's going on, on the screen of this game. It is a deluge of enemy bullets and power ups, and they have these like stars when the, when enemy ships blow up, like these stars pop out of them, and you got to collect the stars to get powered up and get points. It is a beautiful game. It's all 2D sprite art. It's actually made by a single developer who uh, who was such a he was a fan of the developer Cave who used to make games like this. Uh, they don't anymore. I think they still exist, but I think they make like mobile games and shit now. Oh yeah, um, <clears throat> I'm getting Vampire Survivor vibes. It's it no. It, so it's like it's, it's very much it's very much Ooh. a straight on like you fly up the screen or the screen scrolls down and you got a ship and you're just shooting everything you can on the screen. You're moving your ship though. And you're shooting. Yeah. You have a fire button and you also have this like lock on button. So like this like radar thing explodes from your ship and then anything in that bubble has locked on. And when you release the lock on button, missiles fire out from your ship, homing missiles and like blow everything up that it was locked onto. And then you also have a break button, which superpowers your ship. So you, like all of a sudden, even more shit is flying out of the screen. It's amazing. <laughs> it's so fun. It's only twenty dollars. Like I highly recommend. I know that a lot of people are just like, I don't like that kind of game. This one is really cool. You know, sometimes there's like a genre of game, and you're like, ah, you know, I don't really like horror games. But everybody mm -hmm. keeps talking about Resident Evil Seven. Maybe I'll check it out. You play it and you love it, even though you still know you don't like horror games. This is one of those. It's so fucking good. I like. Do yourself a favor. There's a demo. It's free on Steam. Oh, yeah. So there's a demo. Definitely check out the demo. Yeah, yeah. it is Might as amazing. Well. It's just what this game, games like this, I think, why I'm so addicted to them currently is because they just require 100% of your attention. But it's like, it's not because it's not trying to like rip your attention away. It's, it's, you just want to do good and you're just like, to do good, you have to get in the zone. And it's like, you're just like, kind of like focused, right? And it's like- Yeah, your game flow. Yeah, yeah, modern games, they have so much like downtime where, you know, you got to talk to this guy and then you got to walk from like, you know, over to from this town <laughs> to that town. You got to, you know, find your horse and like all of that stuff is like downtime. It's It can be fun, but it, it, to me, it often feels like filler. Like how do we make a game last 40 hours while we make people walk- clear across a continent you know? <clears throat> oh, this yeah. game doesn't do that it's just gameplay it's purest gameplay you're moving a you're moving your joystick and you're tapping buttons until you die and it's <laughs> fucking fun <laughs> well i'm glad you had a game that you had a lot of fun with and that has apparently yeah. destroyed your eyeballs that's yeah, how good it, it is that's when you know it's a good game when you can't blink Maybe get some visine, or don't smoke as much pot as I did. It's, it could be a winner. <laughs> well, um, Wo Long officially came out. Yeah, how is it? Oh, it's great. Yeah, 
It's really, really good. It really is. The, the best way to describe it is if Neo and Sekiro had a baby. Okay. And then that's that's well long. Because it's very much so Neo. It's got all the DNA of Neo. Um, but it's got the parry-based system of um, Sekiro. It is really fun looking. I downloaded it on my Xbox, actually, my Xbox 4. <laughs> is it on Game Pass? It's on Game Pass. It is on oh, Game Pass. If yeah. you want to try it, it also has a demo. But if you want to just dive in, it does transfer over, but it's on Game Pass. So definitely. Yeah, that's the other out. thing is if you do check out the demo, um, your progress does carry over. So you can check it out on the demo if you want. You can check it out on Game Pass. There's many ways to see if you like it without committing all of your money to it. And Absolutely. if you really are on the fence, you can go to twitch.tv slash miss 5000 watch <laughs> and watch her ab absolutely <laughs> just go in on some of these guys. <laughs> you know what happens I when I watch? I realize your focus face was because she was on the edge of her seat just like, she want to yeah, here. <laughs> there's been one, one boss so far yeah. that has done that. Yeah, there's been one. <laughs> <laughs> was it the first one? Because I heard the first boss is actually like really difficult. No, so the first one is difficult, uh, which is the tutorial boss. But that boss was right. in the first demo. So if you played the first demo, you know how to beat that guy. So it's... the first boss was like is not a, not a problem if you played the demo. Yeah. And no, this was the like last boss that I fought just because. So the cool thing about Wolong <laughs> that they do to help with difficulty because Elden Ring had their own way of helping with difficulty with over leveling, having the summons, you know, there were a bunch of things, yeah. broken builds. I took, very a, took advantage <laughs> of all of them too. <laughs> well, Wolong has something kind of similar. So you can definitely <clears throat> level up, you can make broken builds. Um, and there's also characters. So it's set in the three kingdoms of China. So all of the enemies and all of the people that you play with are historical characters from that, time period of China and you can group up with them if you want to play out the level with an NPC oh that's cool do they help during yeah. boss fights too they do they help through absolutely everything oh, and you can choose dope. to get rid of them if you want you can choose to take one you can choose to take two so there's really a lot that you can do to to help make it a bit easier for yourself but there's also another cool mechanic with them is when you play with the NPCs they level up and that they will oh. eventually give you their weapon and their armor. So it's got a cool Aww. little system going on with it as well. But yeah, there's a couple, there's different ways to make it more difficult. So if you're someone who plays Neo and you've, you've, you know how these games work, maybe you don't want to have any people with you because it might make it too easy for you. Like the boss that I was talking about that I struggled with is a prime example. Solo, really difficult with just one NPC with you, not difficult at all. So, does, um, does the boss like yeah. treat the NPC like with priority, like your player? Like, is it fifty fifty, or is it, are they mostly focused on your on you, and then your your NPC is kind of busting them in the ass? While I think it's about fifty fifty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I think it's about fifty fifty. So yeah, oh, it's, heck um, yeah. <laughs> it's a game that yeah, it is a, it is a Souls like, and it's definitely difficult, but they have quite a lot of things in there to make it easier for you if you want it to be easy. Yeah, there... I do like that. I like the linear aspect of it. It's very Bloodborne looking. Is it to me? I guess so. We'll see. It seems like it. It seems like it's like a boss. You can't really progress unless you beat a boss. It's not quite as Elden Ring like. Oh yeah, it's definitely open not open world. It's literally it's Neo. <clears throat> it's literally Neo. It's it's the only different thing, which actually I think is a mistake that they did. So in Neo, when you play it, when you do a main mission, it takes you to the overall map, and then you can pick where you want to go from the map. In this game, it, when you do a main mission, it just takes you to the next mission and takes you mm. to the next okay. mission, next mission. Can but you there replay are missions to grind? <laughs> you can, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you just with this you have to go to their version of a bonfire and go to travel and you can pick the main mission, replay the main mission if you want, or pick the side mission. So I didn't I was like, where are these side missions? Because Neo has side <laughs> missions, Strangers of Paradise has side. Where are the side missions? So I was like, let me go check out the travel option. And I was like, oh, there's like 10 side quests for me to do. Huh. So that's what I'm doing now. 
I think I'm going to download this on Game Pass tonight and check it out. Like, I'm kind of feeling like the 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 urge for, you know, one pain. of these kind of more yeah pain suffering. <laughs> pain <laughs> suffering. <laughs> <laughs> you look cool though. Watts looked incredible. I had to peek. And I watched her a bit, and uh, it always makes me happy because. Uh, you know, sometimes character creator can be daunting and it's especially if it's like super in depth. So how long did you spend as a character creator? So, oh, I had a journey with this game. So <laughs> my first I started the demo, which was the progress that carried over, made a character, saw uh -huh. her in game. I was like, I hate the way she looks. It's actually bothering me. Right. So then I <laughs> even though you can you can change the way your character looks. When you get to a certain part in the game, it's not even that far into the game that you can do it. But it's like, it's bothering me so much. I'm going to just make a new character. So the first time was like an hour. This The next time was like two hours. But then I was playing on PC and it was totally fine. Performance was amazing. And then I got to one area and I experienced slowdown. Oh. And I was like, oh, no. Dun, so dun, dun. I know. So I was like, I don't want to be 20 hours into the game on PC and get to a point where the game is kind of unplayable and want to start over. So I just restarted on PlayStation because okay. if something is just, you know, the performance is bad right away, then you know that your computer's not going to be good for the whole game. But if it's perfect and then all of a sudden terrible, who knows when it's going to be terrible? The next <laughs> mission, I might not be able to play. So I restarted yeah. on PlayStation, then I was in character creative for like another. So hour. you bought two <laughs> copies of this game that is free on Xbox. I didn't <laughs> buy the PlayStation version. Koei Tecmo oh. gave me a code for the PlayStation. Oh, okay. One. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Which was very, Plus. very nice of them. Oh. Yeah, I want to check this game out. It looks cool. It, it looks sick. Yeah. Different enough from Dark Souls that I don't feel like I'm gonna like you know. After playing a hundred and how many hours of Elden Ring, I'm kind of like, <laughs> all right, you know, that was a lot. And there's expansion coming. <laughs> so it's like, I don't want to like, you know, just like do, I don't want to only play Dark Souls games or Dark Souls-ish games. This is, yeah, this is very fast. Mm. And the, Super the fast. combat is very, like if you've seen Wushu, like Chinese martial arts movies, Have it's I very ever. much that. Yeah, it's very much that. <laughs> so there's lots of flipping and you feel really cool. That's the thing with Team Ninja, though. Like, they always do a really good job of making you feel cool in combat. Yeah. Yes. Um, and they, they certainly do with this. I wonder if they'll ever make another Ninja Gaiden game. I, I think see people why not. want it. They want people it want so it. bad. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, people want it. I mean, not that like, people want more Neo and more... more uh, uh, Beach volleyball too, so who knows? It could go either <laughs> yeah. way. Maybe we can mix them. Well, actually, you know what? Wolong does kind of mix them because the boob physics are boobing. Well, they are. They are uh, well known for their. <laughs> they their are. Boob physics. They what, are. Yeah, it, was been it was dead alive, right? Dead, dead alive? No, dead. Dead or alive? <laughs> dead or alive? Yeah. Dead or alive? That's right. Yeah. They're, They're known literally for known for hard boob games physics. and boob physics. <laughs> yeah. That's team team <clears throat> I that mean, is... they don't just stay still. All right. There are some <laughs> physicality to them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, back in the day, bras probably weren't that good. There's like <laughs> those Mexican jumping bras. beans inside those boobs. Just keep going. Skin, just, <laughs> sometimes you slap yourself in the face. Like, who's to say? <laughs> and there is a boob slider. So, you know, if you put that thing all the way up. Oh, uh, big fan. Did, they just, <laughs> if, did you try putting them all the way up? Did they I just did. hang? It looks a little <laughs> ridiculous. I guess so. There's just big, and then I'm like. Down. This is a little. This is a little silly. Oh, God. all right. <laughs> what was that Conan game that had the uh, penis slider? And you, like, if oh. you, if yes. you oh. crouch walked, oh, it would drag on the ground and <laughs> I leave a line in the dirt. <laughs> I literally teabagged the camera that devs invited me to play. <laughs> oh, that game's great. Bring Conan back. Yeah, that was that was awesome. There should be more penis sliders. <laughs> Wild Hearts has a butt slider, so you know. A what now? Butt. A butt slider. Yeah. Butt slider. We Go always back. gotta get the cheeks. Listen, glutes. The amount that they run and get thrown, like she's having some cake. She got some true. junk. Right. I seen them climb <laughs> up those uh, towers. Yeah. Too. Real fast. They Jack. Gotta be working. <laughs> 
They're hitting the gym every day. <laughs> oh, and yeah. Wolong is going to have three DLCs as they have with like all of their games. So, oh. okay. yep, there's going to be more and more of this game. A lot more. All right, I got a question for you. I yes. keep forgetting to order the. There's a Neo Two co or Neo Collection on the PlayStation Five, which mm -hmm. has like upgraded versions of both Neo and Neo Two, and it's actually really affordable. I think it's like thirty bucks, right? It's yeah. cheap. Would you recommend I check that out or go straight to Wolong? Um. Well, they're not related, so no, you can do either. They're made by the same company. But if you had to pick one, yeah. Wolong is easier. Oh, okay, um, that's a that's that's a plus. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, newer. Wolong's definitely easier. Yeah. Easier, it is newer, and free yeah. if you have one Game Pass. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, there we go. That's the decider. Easier <laughs> and free. <laughs> and it's new. You want to be part of the cool kids, okay? <laughs> yeah, they don't let me play. It. They don't let me sit at their table. <laughs> Neo 2 is incredible. I mean, both Neos are incredible, but the second one just really, uh, really... They're great. Got me, got I like Neo. But Neo was great. I, I want to play it so bad, and it's it's just sitting there, like, it's so cheap. Like, why don't I pick it up? It's both games. One Is it one disc? It might be two discs. But for the PS5, like, remastered. I don't know how much they remastered it, but, I mean, the game looked great on the PS4 and the PC, so it probably looks pretty good it on does, PS5. It does, yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks great. Yeah, it looks really good. And they have the 120 FPS option on consoles, so. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Just frames. Do you guys have TVs capable of 120 hertz? Yeah. My monitor does. Your monitor. Yes. Do you mainly um, play at your desk or in the living room? I play on my desk. Okay. The I'm only sorry. game we've ever played Math, in the living let room. let me interrupt you one more time. Okay. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I finally got my desk to where I can stand. And we were talking about that before. I got Hold all on. the wires your ready. Plays video games in her living room around the at the desk. <laughs> I thought you were asking me. I was asking you. <laughs> this is what happens when I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> um. I think the only game we've ever played is a family game or Death Stranding. Okay, so you, you're you're mainly at the desk. <laughs> yeah, desk you or upstairs. In the mainly den. play video games when you're streaming. Do you play a lot of games in your off time? I know Watch does. I know Watch plays a lot I of do, games yeah. in your off time. I probably play more games in my off time. Yeah. Um, just because I really focus on chat when I stream, and okay. they kind of vote on like games, and I try to play games they can play, and. Sometimes it's a story game, but usually it's like some multiplayer game that everyone's playing like Destiny for a long time. Yeah. And so I've been playing a lot offline. I think I've been doing that way more this last couple of years just because of like Final Fantasy. There's too many to stream. Like I cannot. <laughs> I need to just play through it on my That's Steam true. Deck. Yeah. <laughs> um, like and 100 like, hour games every game. Yeah. And like Mass Effect. Like I've just been playing through some of those games offline a lot. Okay. That's right. You you really like portable gaming. That's like your jam. Right? I love it. Oh, I'm a handheld just fiend. Yeah, I'd like to Ed. upgrade my modern my living room TV to be 120 hertz so that when I'm playing games on PS5 and Xbox Four, you know, I could take advantage <laughs> of that. But I don't think that many games really provide it anyway. Like I think it's pretty rare. It is pretty rare. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty rare. We have a. The only time we've ever really done that is actually when we play Monster Hunter or Wild Hearts. Mm -hmm. Like Wild Hearts, we have like a double uh, TV setup upstairs where we have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's we, <living>. have... <laughs> we have a. <laughs> it's an awesome double setup. It even has its own little, two little matching console, like set desks that go with it, like TV console, and then the big TV, and then. Our consoles, and then we have our our chairs, which we ordered new chairs to sit in there better. But okay. um, but yeah, we will usually play games games like that together, especially if there's like a multiplayer aspect to it. Um, so that's what we did this weekend was Wild Hearts upstairs in the den, chair by chair, <laughs> <laughs> playing the monsters. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. I love that. Yeah. 
my desk is back to back with Tomo's. Oh, so we're, we you, are also you sitting stare together. Stare him at, in the eyes as you destroy his soul. In game. <laughs> I can't. I can't see him. The That's why you got to away. stand in that so you can look down on him. <laughs> <laughs> got it, because my body is of that of like an eighty-year-old. It's a disaster. <clears throat> It, so did, <laughs> did you get it? You got the standing desk? Got the standing desk. You put it um, I got it the day before Lightfall came out. Oh, which perfect was, timing. I know. I know. Yeah, what a way to, to just day. stress <laughs> yourself out more. I know. it's. A... <laughs> uh, so I got it, but I didn't. I was missing like a couple cables to be able to have it in the sit and stand position. Just yeah. To make sure they don't get pulled. Um, but now everything is set up. And I got the camera that's on the desk because that also wasn't on my desk. It was kind of standing on the floor. Yeah. But now everything, I know everything's good, so I can do both. Okay. So, how how many days have you been doing it for? Um, I let's <laughs> see. When did I get the cable? Like three days ago. Three oh, days. that's Something like that. That's like okay. with this weekend. Yeah. That's awesome. So, so your plan is to. Like while you're streaming or podcasting to be able to just like raise it up, stand for a bit, lower it down, yeah, sit and for a bit. Probably start with standing and then once my knees hurt, <laughs> go yeah. <sit> down. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do. I recommend that because it's hard to like go from sitting to standing. <laughs> for sure. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Comfy, still those you're pads that you can it. stand on too that kind of like helps absorb I don't yeah. know, like foot pain and knee pain. I don't, it's like a yeah. thick Microphone. I have I phone. have that like in my kitchen. Oh yeah, <laughs> so, like memory foam under the I'm, sink kind of thing. Yeah, when I'm chopping things or cooking, I put it. Comfy. I have a carpet in my office, and I put it all around the carpet in my office. But it ends like a foot away from the edge of the carpet. But I really put it in there for VR, so I knew where. Like if I step and it's hard, <laughs> then I know to stop blocking. <laughs> That's a really good idea. <laughs> You don't want to walk off into who knows what. <laughs> right. And it's nice and foamy. So, like, when I play VR in my socks, it doesn't hurt my feet. That's smart. Yeah. yeah. That's great. But I'll be interested to hear how you like to stay in the desk, like, over long term. Because yeah. I think fundamentally it's a good idea. It's just it gets ruined by the fact that, like, I always have to be managing cables and I suck at it. Oh, yeah. It's pretty tough. Like, there's. Especially with your setup, like you're like me. We have like every console imaginable hooked up. Yeah, I'm so stupid. It's terrible. <laughs> it's pain. I'm very lucky that when, it, or dumb, I was actually very dumb when I first did this, but I bought the longest cables for everything because Aww. I just don't, I don't look at the length of things. And so I'm just like, yeah, you know, I'll buy that one. And yes. it was always the longest cable. So I only needed one cable. That's good. It was Smart. very easy. My my problem is they get like tangled up because they're like, oh, I got a new PlayStation, or I gotta I gotta move mm, the switch yeah. into this room or something like that, and then like everything gets moved. Or, oh, like the microphone's not working. Let me like trace down like this thirty foot wire that goes to like this box and then this box and then and it's like oh, it just turns into this like rat's nest. <laughs> oh, the worst is having to like coil it up and then velcro it, and then it's just like a flowery looking mess. Ugh. Yeah. I just have everything <clears throat> hooked up to one um, extension cord and have that under the desk. So yeah. everything comes up with it. So it should be okay. Yeah. I got the Xbox Good. hooked up, the Switch, the PlayStation, PC. I hope this relieves your back pain. Hopefully. I need to build some back strength, I yeah. think. Yeah. I need to go to a physiotherapist for that. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> <laughs> I need assistance. <laughs> yeah, this is what I struggle with back pain a lot. I, I was I was basically lying down for a year. It was like all of like 2019, I think it was. It was basically lying. Uh, down. Yes. I missed so many podcast spots. Remember, I would be like, nope, can't yeah. do it. I hurt yeah. too bad to sit. <laughs> uh, it's awful. Yeah, um, it's really awful. That's one of the things I've been working on with my trainer, and he's been do having me like try and like strengthen my core and everything. But you know that hurts too. Of course, yeah. You gotta, you gotta be in pain until eventually your body is strong enough to be in slightly less pain. Like, can't we just do drugs? Like, drugs seem like the way out. 
Can I remove my nervous system so I don't have to feel yeah. it? Yeah. Because, like, I can move for? just fine, you know? I can move fine. I just can't. It just feels bad. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd run pretty fast, too, if I didn't have any nerves. <laughs> <laughs> like, even working out would be way better. <laughs> the fact, though. I was thinking it, it would probably be smart to work with someone to build the core. I know Pilates is pretty good for that. Yeah. That's like all core. But it's so nice. It's so nice and slow. <laughs> yes, exactly. So that's why I'm like, maybe if I have back pain, <laughs> Pilates might be the way it could be. I have a fear of doing Pilates and yoga because I am positive that I will fart when I'm in the dog position. <laughs> like right in the middle of class and I'll be all embarrassed. And I just can't do it. <laughs> I can only imagine Briar on the machine <laughs> with like the, the rope around his foot. He's tearing ass. <laughs> oh my god! Sound like somebody's ripping construction paper over there. <laughs> uh, I think it everyone is... would be very understanding. Yeah, I think so. The first time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right they're like please sir like you, every how, time every every time you move sir really every time class four they got me like maybe we should do like a zoom class for you <laughs> <laughs> you just stay at home and we'll like zoom you in <laughs> and maybe like mute me, your microphone yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that a is that a, a XLR mic? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why did we unplug that there? <laughs> <laughs> Put a noise filter on that bad boy. Oh, jeez, the gain too strong. No, what you should do, Briar, is you should join a Zoom uh, yoga class with the Nvidia Eye thing. <laughs> oh my god! No. <laughs> no matter what position you're in, you're just staring directly at them. Uh, <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing it would be someone should do that i'd laugh please if you ever do for whatever god's reason that would record be, that shit i, would need to I mean that is that. a good enough idea somebody should do that and put it on tiktok it would be hilarious <laughs> <laughs> uh, this person is really involved in this class Jeez. he doesn't even blink he doesn't want to miss a thing <laughs> It'd be especially I, funny with your eyes right now, Briar. They're all red and you're just all not red, blinking. like crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be oh, that'd yes. probably get complaints. I saw a TikTok video <laughs> not not a couple of days ago where this uh this woman went and complained to the management of her gym that this dude was staring at her. But the dude was blind. He was just like kind of like doing that, like stare <laughs> off in his face. So the manager comes over. He's like, sir, you can't just be staring at people. And he's like, oh, I'm blind. I'm not staring at anybody. He's just, and he's, the manager continues like, yeah, but you can't just like stare at people. He's like, I'm not staring at uh... anybody. I'm blind. <laughs> like Several times this like oh my God. this conversation like went into a circle. He's like, what if I turn my head this way? <laughs> Is she over there? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that is ridiculous. That is so You can silly. usually tell if someone has a hard time with sight or anything. Like they usually have something with them that helps them, you know, like Yeah, but when you're the main character of like every yeah, story, you don't really stop to And check. everyone's out to get you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not man. saying there's not like lewd behavior happening <laughs> at gyms, but <laughs> this guy was blind. <laughs> That's why there's one room oh in a God. gym I used to go to where it's uh, there's I think it was just bike machines, I think. Yeah. But it's pretty dark in there. Like you can't really see anything. Yeah. And it was so relaxing. That's what I need. I need all the gym. OK, you kind of need to see a little bit in the gym, maybe. But being <laughs> in a very low lighting area was so nice. Yeah. No one can see each other. You're just you're just hanging out and vibing. They they used to call spin classes like the 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 bicycle yeah. class spin classes. They still call them spin classes. Um, I but for think... some reason those rooms were always dark, and there was oh, like, that. annoying Light. upbeat music playing. Yeah, this one has this one played movies. Oh, that's way better. Yeah. I know, right? I was like, you just go in, you're like, what movie showing today? Oh, right. cool, nice. Oh, well. like, I, I don't 
don't yeah. need to listen to this lady tell me to spin faster. I can, I'll spin faster, but like, let's watch some RoboCop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I liked that. But unfortunately, all of the machines that I have at home require me to be on my ass and my tailbone kind of hurts. So that's not going to work very well for me. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, like rowing machine, bike machine, all of these things require sitting. Yeah. <laughs> the best thing for my bike, for my back, was to grab something like a pull-up bar and just hang by it. And just like mm, yeah. try and stretch my spine out. Like put everything back into place. But then it immediately hurt after I did that too. So. So everything hurts. Backs there's no there's suck. no salvation. Everything hurts. Yeah. How Back how are they so poorly pain? designed? Same. There is no God. There's no such thing as intelligent design. <laughs> Look at my fucking back. The thing is like put together by a three year old with Legos. <laughs> Get out of here. With that bullshit. <laughs> well, listen, little mister's pretty good with Legos. Yeah? Mm, he's <laughs> almost three. <laughs> Probably designed a better back. Probably would, yeah. <laughs> He's a little STEM child. He loves to build, so maybe yeah. he can replicate. <laughs> we start building backs. I would just, I would just take a new one at this point. Yeah. Oh man, back replacement surgery. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> just get a new one, nice fresh one. Maybe like a nice, like eighteen-year-old back. Something <laughs> broken in, not like brand new. I don't want to like start from scratch here, but you, you know, don't be a baby. No miles on. No hard miles. Like I don't no want, like. Miles. A football player's back either. Like, give me something like a uh, gymnast, maybe. <laughs> Whoa, limber. The only problem yeah. with <laughs> gymnastics, it is absolutely destroyed like my joints. Oh, your back, oh, yeah. definitely. Okay. Not the back, mostly like my my knees and my wrists. They're not doing great. How about somebody who's into Pilates, like a twenty uh, four <laughs> year old Pilates, Pilates instructor? Pro long lean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Their back's yeah. probably good. <laughs> that sounds yeah, good, yeah. right? Not one yeah. that farts a lot though. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. We cannot be we cannot be beggars and choosers here. <laughs> Wait, it's my fantasy. I'm gonna fantasize how <laughs> <laughs> I want the back of a non farter, goddammit. <laughs> Lightly used, low mileage back. No farts. No farts, please. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's, it can be, be fun to fart. It is. Inappropriate situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, going back to... Going back to uh, <laughs> how, you know, you get, like, random shit in your email... We yeah. we were at the you know in Connecticut it's legal to buy marijuana now so we're we're at the you know marijuana buying place not that I would ever but you know for the kids and the <laughs> wife <laughs> the wife they ask you like would you like to put your phone number in to get rewards and I'm like no thanks because I never put my phone number because they're not going to give me rewards they're just going to abuse my phone number to send me a bunch of trash right my wife steps up to the plate. And puts in my fucking phone number. <laughs> I was like, how could you betray me like this? <laughs> Not only did you see me say no, but then you stepped up and you didn't put in your own phone number. You put in my phone number. How could you? I got to say, so far <laughs> with the pot shop phone number, it's pretty good. Yeah? What do they, do? What do they send you? They don't send me anything. They just give me money off of uh, stuff because I'm okay. a member. You're a member. Yeah. A very exclusive it's, club. It's, yeah, you just got to sign up for exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to get like spam, you know? Like, I don't... Yeah, you don't want spam. I guess it depends on the place. But yeah, um, mine at least, they, they do not abuse. They don't abuse it. That's good. No abuse. <laughs> just money off. Which I'm happy for that. We love a discount. Yeah, a little discount. Yeah. Exactly. I like money. Especially with <laughs> mine. <laughs> you know, you don't see as many people like identifying themselves as like pot smokers. Like it's their 
their soul. You know, like it used to be, maybe this is because I'm old, but it used to be that people like who smoke pot, like automatically had to start wearing like Bob Marley tie dye t-shirts and they're, they had to Fox start... with the weed plant on it. Yeah, yeah. You know? And like yeah. they had to start talking slower, like Tom Petty or something. And, you know, like the whole persona became about like, oh, I smoke pot. You know, you mm-hmm, don't see that mm-hmm. as much anymore. It's like people just kind of smoke pot and then they do other stuff. It's kind of just like it's what everyone does now. If it's in a legal place, you in a legal place. I didn't say illegal. Right. Um, where it, you'll find that most most people kind of participate in it a little bit. Yeah. yeah drug rug. Somebody. Yeah. Remember those? They're like these. Like, do you guys remember drug rugs? They're the like, what? They were like made out of like canvas, but it was like it was like a it it looked like almost like a sweatshirt, but it was made out of like canvas, and it just kind of like hung over your body like loosely draped, like a poor fitting oh like poncho yeah. almost. Drug yeah, rug. that's that's really popular in Southern California. Oh, really? Still is? <laughs> yeah, super popular. How come people like like make their whole personality about pop, but you don't see anybody like making their whole personality about like. Well, I, I, I like beer, so I'm going to wear only beer stuff. I'm going to, you know, like have pictures of like hops plants on everything I own. Maybe they did during when, it, when it was illegal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Maybe well, they I, did then. The mob was pretty big on that, right? They kind of made their whole existence about. They really <laughs> glamorized that too. <laughs> the mob was like really into them t shirts that had like a beer can on it. That's, That's right. how you could tell it was the mob. That's where those beer can hats came from, was the 1920s the Prohibition mob. mob. There's that famous picture of Al Capone with the beer hat, you know, drinking with the straws. Famous picture. I'm sure you've seen it on the internet. I, everyone's seen it. Yeah. yeah. How could you not? Of course. It's a very famous picture. <laughs> Famous Big Tipper. Always brought cookies. Al Capone. Always. Oh, yeah. Always brought cookies. Very, very generous with the cookie giving. See what I mean? <laughs> that's why people love him. You know, Works that's why for he's such a popular figure. That's how he rose to the top of the Chicago <laughs> mob. Always brought cookies. Do you, do you think he uh, gave a Tupper away? Mm. Uh, no, I definitely Did he think ask he, for it back? Yeah, he definitely asked for that back. Like, <laughs> yeah. it, said, oh. it said A. Dot Capone on every piece. <laughs> I bet all the billionaires ask for their Sharpie back. Hey, you don't get rich by giving shit away. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. (laughs) You want some generosity? You go find some poor people. They're going to hook you up with a free meal, give you a place to stay. You want some unhospitable people? It's the rich. (laughs) (laughs) When's the last time a rich person said, yeah, come stay on my yacht? Doesn't happen. But when was the last time a poor person said, yeah, you can stay on my couch? All the time. Every day. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Just nicer people. So that's, that's what we think about. Um, <laughs> well, you, you know what it is, is you don't have to be an asshole to get poor in a capitalistic society. But you do kind of have to get be an asshole to get rich in one. That's true. And that's why we bring cookies. That's why I bring cookies. And the rich people won't eat you. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's you gotta give it to the rich. You put it on the ground like a dog, like a guard dog. <laughs> <laughs> <get> right away. <laughs> the offering. The rich are coming to eat me. <laughs> Drop <laughs> the cookies. <laughs> well, I think as planned, we pretty formative <laughs> episode. <laughs> as we, advertised. We... We inform people a lot, you know, about like golf. You learned yep. about golf stuff. Yeah. Cookies, Tupperware. Yep. Tupperware. Tupperware etiquette. Prohibition, where beer can hats come from. Yeah. Didn't know that, did you? That was news <laughs> to you. <laughs> You're welcome for that little nugget. <laughs> Bring that one out on trivia night. It'll be popular. That's true. It's a party trip. <laughs> oh, love trivia night. Yeah, same. I like trivia night because I like to make shit up. It's fun. <laughs> That's what I mean. I'm so bad at it. I'm like, what I say is law. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we make the rules. <laughs> we did. We did talk about. Yeah, we talked about two, three games because we also also mentioned Wild Hearts again. Yeah. Yep. 
Wow. And Wolong Hearts. is out, and you should check it out because it's great. And, and it's free on uh, Game Pass really if you have an Xbox. Free on Game Pass. DLCs coming. Three of them. Jeez. So you're going to be able to play the game for a while. I can't believe and Wild Hearts DLC, so DLC is coming out already. Like, that's insane. <laughs> They have, yeah, I don't, I, they haven't announced the date yet, but it is March. They did put out a little kind of teaser um, that was saying kind of like a who's that Pokemon <laughs> kind of thing <laughs> where it's just an image, but you can't see the full, the full thing. They put out one of those. Okay. Who's that Pokemon? Yeah. I heard. Oh, did you guys hear that uh, there's like a suspected leak of the Switch 2 based on like this guy on some forum who says he's working on a Pokemon Sword and Shield patch for the next Switch. Really? Yeah. I did not hear about that. You know, like it's it's a long road to travel, but maybe maybe a Switch to you coming soon. Oh, I definitely think there will be one. There has to be one. It's been so long, and there's a new Zelda coming. There's a new Zelda coming. That's true. It would be nice to play May. new Zelda on new Switch. Yeah. If it yeah. came out with Zelda, that would be so <gasps> oh. good. That because would be Zelda deserves unreal a level better of console. Hype. Yeah. I don't think it's that. I don't think that's happening. Well, there is, you know, you can I would play, want that. Play it on a that PC. would make sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I would love that. Oh my god. Please give us a new Switch. Yeah. I like my Switch a lot. But when I when I start playing like you know, stuff like Zelda, it's like it's definitely showing its age. But most of what yeah, I play is like definitely. retro kind of stuff anyway. So for that stuff, it's fine. Yeah. I get the Steam Deck for the new stuff. It's been cool seeing the Steam Deck kind of take over that genre. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Kind of did. Well, I don't I I guess in the in the crowd that I'm in it has for sure. I don't know if it has in other places. Sure, like the Steam or not the Steam, the Switch crew. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, Listen, once they make the Steam Deck pretty, it's over. <laughs> oh, man. Mav, check this out. You get a skin? It's the whole back. It's a replaceable back. For the yes. Steam Deck. Oh, see, it's clear. Wow. You can see through it. Mm. Right? That's kind of oh. neat. And then it's yeah. got this Very here. N64. That's made out of metal. So it could transfer uh, the heat directly to your fingertips and scald your fingertips. <laughs> oh no is that what happened have you been using it I, no i haven't even tried it yet I, i'm gonna make a video about it um and it's also got buttons the back buttons you know these ones yeah. they're replaceable with like bigger ones so hopefully they'll be easier to hit mm. yeah i got a skin for mine i haven't put it on yet but it's i don't know it's gonna look like a brick <laughs> is it is it is it a brick skin it's it's like marbleish white colored, so it's oh, gonna look like a brick. <laughs> yeah, a fancy brick. <laughs> it's a fancy brick. It's a nice countertop steam deck you got there. Oh yeah, shoot! <laughs> <sighs> I'm trying so hard to make it cute because I really love the Switch aesthetic game. Like I have all these different little gummy thumbstick covers and like oh. Joy-Con slips and stuff. And do you collect Joy-Cons? I love it. I don't collect Joy Cons, but I, I collect the covers. Oh, okay. I have a lot of different like. I love I love tech fashion. <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it so much. It makes me so happy. So come on, Steam. Lady Bashins in chat said, "Did you guys check out the Ayanio Two? Not oh. only did I not check it out, but I have no idea what you're referring to. Yanio. It two. is a oh." Portable. Oh. A -A Neo. Console. A -A Neo. Okay. Oh, it's yes. A, -A Neo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is either. <laughs> when it's I first Googled it, the first thing that came up is I wouldn't trade my $400 Steam Deck for this $1,300. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a Steam Deck, but it's oh. not subsidized by Valve, uh, but it is more powerful. So. Ooh. Rip. Yeah, but yeah, thirteen hundred dollars. How, how much it costs, Watts? That's what the the first thing that came up said. So, I I don't know for sure. That's just the first thing that I saw when I googled it. I don't know anything about it. That's a that ton. is a lot of money. Like, 
when stuff gets that expensive too, it's like you start getting like real paranoid about like putting it in a bag, like in a backpack or bringing it someplace and like not having your eye on it like 24 seven. Like you start, I don't know. I do anyway. That's paranoid. Get the paranoid. Yeah. I don't know. On the site, it doesn't say the price. It just says coming soon. Oh, interesting. Is it not out yet? Uh, the original one is out. I don't know if the two is the second coming one. out. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so the two one is one thousand ninety nine. The Air Retro is seven hundred forty nine. Okay. There's a different a bunch of different styles of it. Listen, I'm here for a handheld. Uh, evolution. <laughs> yeah, you can run Steam OS on these things. As long you basically any PC, wow. you can run that Steam OS on, which is awesome. So you don't have to, yeah. you don't to get the benefits of a Steam Deck. You don't have to buy it from Valve. Like other companies right. are making these things, and they're making them uh, faster, but they're not subsidizing them like Steam uh, Valve is. Because Valve, for every Steam Deck they sell, they're also going to sell a bunch of games. So you know, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That old bit. That's why the Steam Deck is so affordable. If you compare what's in a Steam Deck and the price of it to a Nintendo Switch, you'll realize how badly Nintendo is screwing you. <laughs> but we like it. But I we like it too. It. I like it too. But, <laughs> but we it like it. We like the pain. Insanely overpriced. <laughs> <laughs> I really do love my Steam Deck. I do too. I I'm do always on it. it. Like always. I can't help it. Yeah, I, I I do like my Switch better than my Steam Deck just because it's a little more portable and the screen is better. But, yeah. you know, it, it's not as powerful. Correct. And I do like the fact that the Joy-Cons come off. Like, that is a feature That's that I great. think is pretty cool. Yeah, I don't have a problem with the Steam Deck's controls, um, but... You know, it's nice to be able to swap them in and out. Like, I'm never going to use those touchpad things, those little square touchpads <laughs> on the Steam Deck. I hate when I accidentally boop them. Like, please, <laughs> how, is there a, yeah. a sticker that I can cover it with? Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> you can, I can't like, touch it. It won't in, take a little individual tape on there. games, you can, like, turn it off, I think. Oh, that makes sense. Because you can, can, like, fully change all of the stuff mm -hmm. for each game you play, which is mm -hmm. nice. I actually really, I really like that feature. That each game you can actually change in the Steam Deck the the buttons and what they do. Yeah. So your my paddles, I don't have to just have my paddles set to a certain thing. I can have it set to a certain thing per game. You want to see what kind of maniac I am? Look behind me here. My okay, Steam Deck okay. is currently right down <laughs> there, hooked up to a TV mm -hmm. and a twelve pound joystick. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I see it. Yeah. Oh, a little wow. retro action. Yeah. Wow. I am a moron. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a dock. That way I can just move my Steam Deck around. The dock is awesome. It's $80, it but it also comes with an extra power supply, which I find to be extremely convenient to have an extra power supply for the Steam Deck. One sits by the couch and one sits under the TV attached to the dock. Yeah. That's so smart. I'm doing that. Yeah. Yeah, eighty dollars seemed like a lot of money for a dock, but considering it does come up with a power supply, it's about right, I guess. It's Everything's awesome. so fucking expensive now. Is it? Crazy? Everything is expensive. <laughs> it really is. It's just ridiculous. Did you see games go up in price too? It's been nuts to yeah. see, like eighty dollars now for yeah. a game. Yeah. Help. Which games are base eighty dollars? I haven't seen any. Um. Oh, the place I can't remember off the top of my head. Right? They're, they're like, yeah, they're like 79 change. But yeah, they're basically 80. They're like, oh, you know. Oh, I thought they were 70. At least uh, the ones I've bought have been. <clears throat> they were 69.99 and now they're 79.99, right? Oh. Yeah. I honestly I don't pay attention too much. I think I saw <laughs> somewhere where it's it's either 70 or 80, but still what the actual heck? So out of touch. <laughs> but it was for sure on the PlayStation. It was like yeah. a future PlayStation game where I was like, wow, the price was going up. Nintendo announced that they're raising their prices too, right? I yeah. think it's going to be pretty trend. standard for it to be, yeah. you know, at, at least 70 for a game now. Yeah. I mean, games, games are now costing like billions of dollars <laughs> to make. 
Yeah. yeah. Like, they are so expensive. So I think it was just a matter of time before the price went up. But definitely, it's definitely, it's definitely rough. Because currently, people are not making a ton of money. Everything is expensive. Not just games. It's food is expensive. So right. Gas, it's going to become harder. Cars. Yeah. Everything's expensive. Computers. I mean, you couldn't even get a computer for two years there. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'm still scared to even look at buying anything. I'm like, no, yeah. I don't know if it's real. It's gotten better. It's gotten better. It's still yeah, expensive, it's though. I mean, better. prices, NVIDIA, they really are like, uh, they really try to take advantage of the market because they saw all yeah. these secondhand GPUs selling, you know, on Craigslist mm-hmm. or whatever for fucking double their msrp so it was just like why don't we just charge that much and now nobody's buying <laughs> by gpus and they're in big big trouble uh, oops yep take that one Rip. congress what do you think now <laughs> <laughs> yeah i definitely wouldn't be able to afford a whole new pc from like scratch yeah. No, My little little bits not. and pieces and then eventually uh work up to having a full PC, but buying an entire thing from scratch is oh, so expensive. Exponentially more more expensive. The processors have gone up in price, the memory, the motherboards have like tripled in price. Motherboard. Like it's literally mm-hmm. a thing that you don't give a shit about. Like you just like give me yeah. the motherboard <laughs> that's going to work with this processor. I don't even know what it's called. X five seven one eighty three. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Why does it cost six hundred dollars though? It used to cost. It is very expensive. It used to be super cheap. You're like, yeah, the yeah. motherboard. Yeah, that. What's that going to cost me? Yeah, throw one of them in. Give me two. I don't yeah. know. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Now it's ev- every single part of your computer is essentially like the GPU. <laughs> Yeah, and then you put it all together and the oh game runs like shit. Right. <laughs> and yeah, no, it's true. Games are games are not games are struggling on PC at the moment. I like I said, I don't know what caused it. Yeah. Whether it's just all of the you know, you've got 3090s and then you got 4090s, the four four hundred series. Um I don't know what caused it, but it's certainly a thing that I've noticed happening where games just are not performing well on pc consistently it's not yeah. even like it's just one company that's doing a bad job with it it's kind of everybody yeah unless they spend like returnal a really long time putting their their pc version together it's a good time to be a console gamer i feel like it is it really is because you could spend five thousand dollars on the best pc ever you're not getting anywhere close to the best pc it. ever for five grand <laughs> <laughs> you're getting a, it's such pretty a good pc <laughs> god well i think that's why i like if a game is on the console i'm just gonna play that because i always typically have the next gen console yeah so it just seems a little bit more the and thing? then as a streamer you know like cause then then you're just bogging everything down if you're not just like playing yeah that's true yeah well, that's I... the thing is that like if you you like you can spend five thousand dollars, which is a ton of money, mm-hmm. on this computer that's gonna have a bunch of problems with a bunch of games. Yeah. Or, or you, you can spend five hundred dollars on a console <laughs> or a and it will run probably perfectly for all the games. Or you get a PlayStation five and a motorcycle. You could. You could get both. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Which sounds like more fun to you? <laughs> You I just a want PlayStation the, Five for your motorcycle. I just want the PlayStation Five Point Five that's like half the size of this thing. Yeah, I am looking forward to a slim edition. Like, is, it's me, pretty. It's pretty massive. It's, yeah. it's so I have Sauron. Like it's so bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will say though, compared to the Xbox, at least it fits on like a shelf. The Xbox being like that weird shape, it's smaller. But it mm-hmm. doesn't sit in my entertainment system smaller. Oh, you know yeah, I mean? correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> it, it looks like it, a modem. Because <laughs> it it's actually really thicker, right? It, yeah. Like, the PlayStation is massive. Yeah. yeah. But the, the Xbox is thicker. Yeah. yeah. It's very small, but it's thicker. So yeah. it, it is kind of awkward the to tower. put it into place. It, it looks super weird on its side, too. So you really want to stand it up. <laughs> but, I don't know. Yeah. Like I like that Mine machine. Like I think a... it's really nice, but I, I'm not so good at hot on the industrial. I don't machine. like the I don't like the way either of them look. I'm just kind of put them there. And well, like, you fine. guys need the boba sticker then, because mine is adorable. I like the PS5. <laughs> I think it looks hot with the pop up uh, collar. Like I think it looks fucking collar. awesome. You could turn mm. it into Dracula. 
Oh, that's a great idea. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do a Castlevania yeah, theme. Yeah, Castlevania <laughs> theme. Should we end this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We gotta go. The, the back pain talk and the golf and uh, the, um, what else? Did... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I interrupted you, Watts. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> did we talk about teeth on the podcast or before the podcast? I forget. Oh, on the podcast. On the there podcast. you go. Yeah. People love My teeth talk. Wisdom tooth. Yeah. <laughs> the good news is the place I got referred to has really good reviews. So yeah, that's that fun. probably means they give you the nitrous, right? <laughs> oh heck yeah well so my dentist so i actually i really like my dentist because he's very aware that it's highly traumatizing to go to the dentist yeah so everything they do they're like this is traumatic so we tend to not do this or like this is, can be pretty traumatic so you might not want to do this so he's like i do extractions and i've done extractions for like 30 years but with this kind we don't like to do it because it's traumatic so we want you to be asleep oh so, okay Oh, that means yeah. there's going to oh, be like yeah. chisels involved, I think. I, I For think sure. they're either one, going to break my jaw, <laughs> oh, or two, no. they're going to do the thing where they oh. shatter the tooth and pick out the pieces. Yeah, yeah, that's what they yeah. did for me. It was bad. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be awake for that, personally. No, no, no. no. <laughs> yes. Have them put in that thing that just keeps your mouth open and snooze it out. Wait, have you ever gotten your wisdom teeth out, Wads? Did you have them all? I have them all. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. My the other wisdom <laughs> teeth are totally fine because on my <laughs> other side at the bottom, I had a tooth pulled out long time ago. So the wisdom tooth was just kind of like, oh look, <laughs> like, oh, a it's room. Space got... for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then well, my you other ones are just are gonna chilling. have fun. It's gonna be great. You'll love it. So I'm I'm only getting one out. Even if they're like, you know, we could take them all out now. I'm gonna be like, no, just this no, one. No, just one. Just this one. Don't do it. The I others did. really are fine, and there's plenty of space. Yeah, Just you don't want to. Yeah, even if it's like one again later, that's so much easier to recover from. I did three, and I will never do that at the again. same time. Not. Yeah, I thought I was Wait, trying to die. save money. What is you know, three for one deal? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was gonna die, and it yeah. took a year to heal. Like those sockets are soft for a long time, so be they really are careful. Soft for a long time, yeah. They were like, it can take six months for like the bone to heal, and then it will be like this amount of time for the actual like hole to heal. Yeah, it takes a, a bit. So yeah, if you have them out on all sides <laughs> of your mouth, you have to be eating baby food for like God knows how long. <laughs> but don't drink out of a straw. Why not? Like I did, because it so, will. So. You get a dry socket. The, well, the okay. I shouldn't even ask this uh, question. Uh, what is a dry socket? A dry socket is when the uh the what is it? The almost like a scab. It's like a wet scab in your pocket gets ripped out. Wet and your bone is exposed. <laughs> Listen, you asked, and if you made it this far, I got you. <laughs> you can't smoke either. Can I vape the weeds? Mm. Oh, edibles, um, right? I could get a lot of edibles. They're just expensive. Yeah. Just put the joint in like, your nose. I, don't work. Just be... I think it's just the straw <sighs> thing. It's just like the... I think if you do it out of the other side. <laughs> oh, bongs? <laughs> bongs okay? <laughs> hookah? What about... Uh, yeah. A a, um... Oh my God, what year is it? A hookah. A hookah. A hookah. My Can dentist used to give your... me volume before I came, but... I... It turns out that <laughs> Valium Briar is very similar to Drunk Briar. So I, was, oh, yeah. I was cut off on the Valium. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought I was oh, hilarious. Can you hotbox? Can you hotbox the car? Can you hotbox? There you go. <laughs> That'll oh, work. Oh, man. <laughs> You'll probably get pushed out in a wheelchair, and then Tomo will have to toss you in the car, and you might drool on yourself. But that's the, that's it. That's I all. drool on myself all the time. Ask him to record, <laughs> please. Ask him to get that on video. <laughs> you know. For posterity. <laughs> uh, I don't want to say anything dumb. You will. I did. It was not great. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> don't forget uh, about the little tooth cleaner syringe you have to use to clean out the socket hole. Huh? The salt water. Yeah. What the heck? What the heck? Little <laughs> tooth cleaner syringe. Hey, you and you're going to have a cheap. <laughs> yep. Yep. I did. 
She probably has a sheet for it. <laughs> well, I'm least... going to have to, I'm going to buy a ton of edibles and put them in a blender. Yeah. Oh, mm. that's a great idea. Make an edible, edible smoothie. smoothie. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's a great idea. I that's what I'm, I'm just going to sip yet. on it. I'm going to sip what if on I... it. It's a green drink. smoothie. It's healthy. I'll, <laughs> I'll bring you treats. I'll bring you treats in my Tupperware. That's healthy. I'm going to make one for my trainer. He's going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry for that, everybody. Uh, and TLDR, find a dentist that understands how traumatizing they are. Yeah. That's a good point. And ask for the drugs. <laughs> yeah. Ask for the good drugs. Don't be shy. I'll take a vow. I've never been under anesthetic me, for any tooth. I've had five teeth taken out, and I've never been under anesthetic. How many it's gonna you feel left? like it, it's going <laughs> to be a like lot. A, it's like a shark. Teeth. They keep growing back. <laughs> I did. Ha I had too many teeth. The dentist made fun of me and said, "This is the most teeth, extra teeth I've ever seen." Extra? Wow! Teeth? You got extra teeth? I had that. That's the five that I had taken out. Oh shit! Oh my gosh! You had five extra amazing. Teeth. I had five extra teeth. Do you have any That's extra fingers? Do you have any extra close. other things? I don't. I don't. No? I wish I had extra fingers. I'm like, Are you oh, sure? <laughs> <laughs> I have an extra brain cell. I'm smart. Okay. All right. <laughs> It'll be like five minutes. Sure. It's like medicine. Tincture? Should I go? I am going to the pot shop today. I could pick up a tincture. You could get a tincture. There's some cool ones out there. That It makes you warm and fuzzy and really happy. It's almost like... Like mushrooms. Liquid. Kind of. <laughs> liquid form. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I'll, I'll go to the pot shop and know. I'll say I'm gonna have a tooth out. Give me the good tinctures. Yeah, don't give me the stuff that makes me all paranoid. <laughs> give me the stuff that makes me sleep. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to sleep a lot. What is it? Good it's, night. Tuck which her one in. Is it? Sativa makes you like concentrate, and indica makes you sleep. Yeah. Is that right? Indica. Yep. Yep. Indica couch. Oh my indica gosh. Couch. Indica, indica couch. couch. Yep. There you go. I accidentally ate a whole gummy of indica and I was melting in my bed. I was like, I had to crawl to bed. <laughs> the first time I ever had an edible, my a photographer friend gave it to me. And it was like a, a cookie. It was like a big round cookie, though, the size of your face. And he said, just eat a quarter of it. And I said, okay. Literally. And so I was bored one night and I was watching, uh, I was watching Twitch. No. I was watching people play Destiny on Twitch. And I ate a quarter of the cookie. I'm like, I don't feel nothing. I ate another yep. quarter of the cookie. I don't feel nothing. Uh -huh. So I ate the rest of the cookie. And then somebody on Twitch starts talking about me. And I was like, this <laughs> is too much to handle. I start freaking out. <laughs> oh, my God. That They take a long. Edibles take a long time to hit you. Or they just they do. don't. Yeah. Sometimes. So it's it's really. That's why I stopped having them to go to sleep. Because sometimes I would eat one. And I'm like, nothing's happening. Mm -hmm. Then I eat another, and then I'm like, oh, now it's, yeah, it's it's really inconsistent. <laughs> now I'm, I'm going to be up all night doing carpentry. <laughs> <laughs> but actually. <laughs> now I'm going to clean this whole fucking house. <laughs> it can be good for that sometimes. It's super You're, good It just for that. makes you get on with it. Yeah. Because you don't think about what you need to do. You're not like, oh, I need to clean the bathroom, and then I'm going to clean this, and I'm going to clean this. You just start cleaning. Or it's you end up... You start by like vacuuming, but then like you realize, oh well, this cord doesn't quite fit in this socket so good. So I need to go to Home Depot and buy a new socket. And we're like, while I'm at Home Depot, I might as well get a smoothie. And then the smoothie, like it is just like escalates. It's next to the like, weed shop. You're, yeah. You're <laughs> out here, it's literally like. Oh, you Rite got pot smoothies? Weed? I thought I thought of that. <laughs> oh no, it was. They put. They, you can do it to everything here. All right, I'm in. You got to. You have to come smoothies. visit now. Yep. Next episode. I do want to go to that restaurant smoothies. in Seattle that <gasps> serves food, weed food. Oh, yeah. I That's go dangerous. I we'll want to go. We'll just do a special DCP we'll episode. Just, yeah, let's yeah. all go to Seattle. We'll go to the restaurant. We'll record it. I mean, that sounds like <laughs> a huge awesome. step up from eating Maybe dicks we on should... a garbage can. <laughs> 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 or step, step down. Up. Yeah, I guess yeah. Not, it depends on your perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Bonus. We talk Bonus about games, extended we talk edition. About games. <laughs> this was the side quest to the side quest. This is a side quest where you go on the side quest and you realize it's so starting another side quest in the side quest. That's right. It's That's true. Awesome. This is a true authentic gaming experience. This That's really right. is. That's why you yep. tip with cookies. 
I always bring right. cookies. Pot cookies. <laughs> I'm just going to start leaving pot smoothies in my car. A real for friend. For the mechanic. <laughs> 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 all right. I think we should wrap this one up. All right. We're leaving. Thank you all for listening. <laughs> We apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thanks for subbing and Patreoning. Thanks for being awesome and hanging out with us and listening to us, even when we talk about, well, nothing really. Teeth stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we will be seeing you on Thursday. We'll have a regular show. Lego's going to be there. Nice. Talking about all the Destiny stuff. Exciting. I haven't been playing. I have been playing, so I uh I'm back. Oh, time to get Mav on there too. Mav. Oh, oh, oh I wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the time. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you all for listening. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Have an amazing week. Keep your teeth inside your head. Yep. Really yeah. Try to. Do it. Bye. Don't. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>